Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the firmware on your router using D-Link's new configuration interface. Now, the first thing you want to do before we upgrade the firmware is ensure that we're doing this over a wired connection. It is always suggested to do any firmware upgrades over a wired connection to prevent any problems from happening during upgrade. So the next thing we want to do is then download the latest firmware upgrade for the router. So you just want to open up your web browser and we're going to navigate to our support website. So the website address is support.dlink.ca. From there, you just want to do a search for your product. Now in this example, I'm going to be doing the upgrade on the DIR880L. So I just want to go ahead and enter that model number in and search. From there, I'm going to select the router, click on the downloads tab, and I want to download the latest firmware for the router. So I'm going to download this version here. So I'm just going to click on the download button. It will ask you to save the firmware file. It's suggested that you save it somewhere where you can easily find it. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then once the firmware has completed, the next thing we want to do is log into the router to apply the firmware. Now, please note, you will not be able to open this firmware file using your computer. It has to be loaded within the router configuration. So again, once you've downloaded it, you just want to go again up in your web browser and we're going to log into the router. So to do that, we want to enter in the IP address of the router. So I'm going to enter in 192.168.0.1. That's going to take you to the router login page. Now by default, there is no password. So you should be able to just leave this area blank and click on login. However, if you have set up a password, you'll need to enter that in in order to access the configuration. So once you've logged into your router, you then will just want to click on the management tab at the top and then click on upgrade. From there, you scroll down to where it shows you to upgrade manually. We're going to click on the select file button. We're going to select that firmware that we just downloaded and then click on Upload. And we're just going to click on OK to start the upgrade. Now again, depending on the router, it may take a few minutes to do it, usually anywhere between two and five minutes. During this upgrade process, you want to ensure that you do not power off or reboot the device. Pretty much just want to leave it until it's complete. Now the firmware has successfully upgraded, you just want to click on the OK button. Okay, from there, you're going to get taken back to the login page. So again, you want to log back in using your same password or by leaving it blank. And the new firmware version should be present. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.